Good morning guys, I am headed out to get my hair done today. I cannot believe how long my hair looks right now. It's like, this is the straightest I ever wear it. I mean, it is basically just like straight right now, which makes it look longer, I think, or just as long as it can look, but dang. Okay, but I'm about to head out to Pilates first. I'll show you guys my outfit maybe. I'm doing a, another video on my channel that's like a week of outfits so i just shared this outfit on there but if you're not one of those watchers if you're just a vlog watcher i'll show you it on here and then i'm having this little breakfast that i have been i have been loving this so it's just cottage cheese with blueberries and then i put honey on top and it's actually so good together um okay anyways my outfit oh this is a horrible angle <laughs> you're gonna have to watch the other video because what the hell is this angle but i don't have time to fix it okay my leggings are joe brown i've got my little v2k nikes on this shrug i'm wearing is also joe brown top is crop shop boutique whoa 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 we just got stuck this jacket is Storettes. And then I just got like a little cute and ready before Pilates because I'm going to get my hair done. And I was like, I just want to be like cute and sat in the chair. So I'm going to munch this down and then we'll go. And I'll bring you guys along to the salon. Okay, I'm at the salon. I'm in Aubrey's chair. You guys know Aubrey, you've probably seen her one million times on my hair vlogs. I've gone to her for years and years. I've also, I'm a hairdresser ho, I'll dabble. Like when she's out for maternity leave or just like I've had other friends in the industry do my hair, whatever. I love all hairdressers. I love like, everybody does hair different, so I love it all. But Aubrey has been a go-to for literally probably like five or six years. She's so good, she's really good at blonde. And today, Back. Today we're just doing really bright blonde and just like freshening it up. We're gonna put a little bit of low lights in at the root too so that it has more like pop because they're really like the bright money pieces. And I'm gonna show you guys a picture from this one hair color that I did with Aubrey before. It was like one of my favorites ever. It was just a super bright like honey blonde. So that's what we're going for today. I'm not taking a lot of risk or doing anything too drastic before the wedding because, you know, it just doesn't make too much sense to me. But we're just gonna freshen it up, brighten it up, and I'm excited. I'm actually so obsessed. Like this is my favorite hair color. I wrote down what we did. Oh my God, it's really hot now. Holy smokes. I wrote down what we did. I'll put it like here or whatever. I could just read it to you guys too. We did a full highlight with a full chunky highlight with a few low lights in the mohawk section for dimension and also a root shadow and the toner formula was 10 wg and 10 gi redken shades and it looks so freaking good aubrey's also so good at blowouts like this volume insane i actually didn't cut it at all today didn't even do like a little trim or anything sorry my makeup like gets a little blotchy when i go do that but like the brightness of this oh, i just love it Slay Aubrey. Um, I'll put her handle here for you guys. 
um, if you don't already follow her or anything, or if you're looking for a hair girl specifically for blondes, I think she does non-blondes too, but I just love what she does for my blonde. She's the best. Good morning, friends. Today, I'm getting a laser, like, micro-needling type treatment. I This is my second round. The treatment is called Matrix. I vlogged it the first time too, so if you guys want to check it out, you can... I'll try to like link that vlog or you can find it on my channel, whatever. But this is a pre-wedding treatment. I'm going to my girl, Jen Hollander. I'll put her handle here. She's the best. She also does my Botox and under eye filler. I'm not getting that today though. Just the laser and I'm just doing it on this area to like tighten and snatch everything pre-wedding. And the treatment is good for like resurfacing, retexturing, brightening, tightening, all that good stuff. And it's kind of like microneedling, but it goes goes deeper into the skin and then it also has like laser frequency or whatever. I'm not gonna lie, I don't know if I said this on the last vlog or not, but it hurts. Like I have a high pain tolerance and I'm pretty good with pain generally speaking, but this like hurts pretty bad. I'd say it's like a seven, which is like pretty bad in my opinion. It It's like right on the jawline, like on the bone and the needle just kind of like hits that like, it's a diffy kind of pain but it's worth it and Jen is best. Um, she'll give me laughing gas too, which makes it a lot better. So that's what we're doing today. And the downtime is like very minimal. Last time when I got it, I was, I wore makeup like two days later, I think, and I could film and whatever, it was chill. So it's not too bad. We might go deeper today because it like took it well last time, but we'll see. We're here at Cupid Lips. It's really cute here. We're really matching the aesthetic in here today. We got my pink Mad Happy yellow hat on. We're actually matching. We're really rocking yellow right now. Two little sticks of butter. Delaney's got on a full yellow fit. Love these floors, guys. I've talked about them many a times. I think we should do our whole house in these floors. I love them. Could you imagine? So, we got the numbing cream on. I wonder if I shake my earrings off. I wonder if they're like in the way. Let's go. Tough cookie. All right, I have my oxygen, oxygenating mask on or whatever. I'm pretty red under there, oh God. But she puts this mask on after that like really helps with the healing time, like healing speed or whatever, I don't know what to call it. But it feels really good and I'm just gonna let this sit on my face on a car ride home and then I'm gonna peel it off. And this is just, it might get a little swollen. It's obviously very red right now. I did not get the laughing gas today because some man stole it from me who was apparently getting something that doesn't hurt bad. <laughs> That's what we were told. That would've been me. So yeah, I didn't get the laughing gas today. So I feel like she went really fast, like just to try to make it as, I don't know, bearable as possible. So that was nice. Um, it went by really fast, I feel like. And I think the laughing gas definitely does help just make me care less about the pain and be like a little bit distracted from it. So I missed the laughing gas very much so, but we survived. Like. It went by pretty quick and it was just like, whew, okay, we can we can do this. So now we'll just heal it up and have one more session of this. It's not too bad. I know a lot of people do this to like the whole face too, which I feel like obviously it would be worse because it's more surface area. But I do think that this like jawline under chin area is maybe one of the more sensitive areas just because it's like right on that bone. I feel like probably on like the cheekbone and the forehead hurts bad too. All right guys, I'm gonna start taking off my little mask. I don't know if you guys have ever had those, but if you haven't, 
love this beer sign. They're so freaking good. Okay, there we go. Look at this. Look at this flat. Whoa. Whoa, the tangelo. Yeah, the trolley gummy eggs. I need to like insert a picture of them here or something. Because if you guys don't know, they're literally so good. I think, I don't think you'd ever have those before. What is going on? It's a Tangelo break in the household. What is up? Or they're called Mineolas, I'm not sure. Mineola? That's a funny one. Mmm. They're so good though. Mmm. Mm. Trying to eat some more fruits. Mm-hmm. Because they're so good. Little scavengers. Mm-hmm. Fruits and vegetables. Mmm. That's what the doctor ordered. Cloudy-ish day. Yum. You can just drink them. No one said no more chewing on the vlog. Sorry, it's part of life. <laughs> and what you get here is our life. There's a chewing just phobia though. Just full? Should I just, try to, should I just try to stomach this right now? Two? A twofer? Whoa. I'll do it too. Should I? Uh -uh. Don't swallow that. Oh, I'll chew it. Oh yeah, definitely chew it. That was tasty. Sorry. I don't like the sound of chewing either though. I get it. But he's right, it is a part of my life. Today was a super exciting day though because we finally got our wedding invites in the mail. Check. Off the list. I keep doing that. So that felt good and we're happy that people can hopefully... Do. We did we our did, save the dates. Yeah, we did save the dates and they were actually electronic. Which I feel like maybe isn't like very serious for like this new age. I mean, for the younger people, it's serious enough, but maybe for the older people, like it's not yeah. that serious. You know, it's kind of like it was just more cost effective, and we saved yeah. paper, so we were like, let's just not like send things in the mail a million times. Right. So we were happy with that, but yeah. yeah. And now it's like out. it's official. You know, it's out there. It's and a fish. The wedding's you know coming up. It's around the corner. So we're excited for that. We've been in like grind mode. Like it's it's check off the list time mode. Yeah. Actually, if anyone else is a bride to be, and you know, the thing is I'm trying not to be a bridezilla. I don't think I'm being a bridezilla, do you? No, I don't think you have been at all. Like my actual MO, which I don't know what that means. What does MO stand for? I don't for? know what it stands for. Moda operanda? That's a brand. But anyways, I know what like MO means in context, but I don't know what the definition of MO is. But anyways, my MO as a bride, especially in the last couple of months, is I'm really just trying to focus on the fact that that day is literally just about marrying mm -hmm. and celebrating and like connecting with the person that you love so much and just your love story and your connection and the that feeling of it yeah because yeah, it's gonna be beautiful no matter what yes yeah. and i realized at a certain point i was like okay you could definitely get like very caught up in the details and wanting everything to be perfect and like putting a lot of pressure on things and stressing yourself out but the whole point of the day is literally just like being with the person that like feels like home yeah so i was like i'm just going to anchor myself in that and ground myself in that so that I can have a really fun, happy day and just be connected to that instead of being connected to like details and things being perfect, if that makes sense. No, it's very wise. But a lot of, a lot of people, girls, we probably mostly have a hard time doing that. But yeah, but it's no, that's, easy I mean, that's to just do the, that. I get it. Yeah. I mean, but that's I the just, whole point of the day, you know? I've, I've just decided that I really want to be happy on that day and I don't want to be super stressed. And I know that when I connect to the idea of just like being, celebrating our love yeah. and each other and like our thing, that makes me feel happy and like grounded and not all like stressed out and wigged out. So I'm just like focusing really hard on that. So We'll see as we get closer how you're doing, but 
Yeah, but like today he got some shirts in the mail for the welcome party and he was trying them on and I was like, I think I like that one better. And then I was like, you know what? I don't really care. Just pick whatever one. I'll be good with either because there's way too many decisions for me to yeah. think about it too much. So I'm, I'm honestly good no, with that's, whatever. That's honestly how you should be because it's like, who really cares exactly what shirt I'm wearing at the welcome party? Yeah. The whole thing. Yeah. And like if you ask for my opinion or want help, like I'll tell you quickly, but I'm just not gonna, I, I've just kind of been that way with most of the things like yeah. i still haven't tried on my actual wedding dress yet which is pretty like i i cannot be a bridezilla there's no, no way if you, yeah there's no. no way like i'm being so chill yeah. i think i think i was very stressed out for a couple of months just because there was like big things that we hadn't booked, booked. it was mostly vendor related stuff yeah and i was just like nervous that we weren't going to be able to like have people because they get booked on dates and stuff so i feel like as soon as i did that i was way more which everybody says once you book your venue and like your main vendors there's a break for a long mm -hmm. time and you'll feel a lot better and that is very true yeah so that's good and that's where we're at right now but i agree you're not being much of a bridezilla at all no but i was gonna say I'm not being a bridezilla and i'm not trying to be like crazy about the pressure and perfection and everything but as a human being, I still am, I would say, a type A person. So if any of my other brides-to-be are also type A people but not wanting to be bridezillas, this little tip I think is really nice. The reminders list or the reminders app on your phone is really nice. I have one called Wedding and then you can actually share it yeah, with right. I someone. Haven't checked it in a while. Yeah, he doesn't like lists as much as I do. I forgot about it. But I love having... Yeah, I've got to get back on there. If you're a type A person, I feel like you're probably marrying a type B person. And I got work we'll to We'll probably do. never check this it. This list is long. I forgot. But I think it's so nice to have because literally every little thing that pops into my head that we have to like figure out, I'll just put on this list. And then I feel like there, it's somewhere. And then and when you can cross it off, you cross it off. It's so it's nice. It's your partner's room can remember yeah they can check it too and I, I won't check it like every day or anything but like for a every, minute you were for a minute I was every yeah. week or so I'll go through and then there'll be a lot of things that we've done and I can check it off it feels so good I just love crossing they things disappear. off the list yeah but yeah there's just like some random things on there we've been working on our uh music for the wedding day mm -hmm. which is kind of that was another one where I was like oh I could go to like the ends of the earth to find the perfect songs for these things but then I was like there's so many good songs that yeah. as long as I like the sound of the song, it's like there's plenty of options that would work and I'll be happy with any of them. Yeah, and I, like even like the walking down the aisle one, uh -huh. like it's going to be so beautiful and like magical and like yeah. special feeling that like whatever is playing, yeah. even if it's in sync, like it's right. gonna like it would be a vibe be a vibe right you know yeah like, so we're trying to be like chill-ish about that it's not gonna be in sync but like i'm saying yeah. like literally like anything could be a vibe if you wanted it to be yeah but it but would be you, like some strings or something but yeah if you guys have any like advice from people who have already got married or if you've been to a lot of weddings i like to hear the input and advice like what are, any suggestions about music or anything like i just like to hear it maybe it won't apply to us but i still like I like the combos. We need to figure out what we're doing for our first dance, like yeah. actual um, dance wise. Uh, like, serious, you want to take it? Do just, like, like, do we need to take dance lessons or like, do we just vibe? Like, I don't know. Like, how hard do you go? Yeah. Just People do like twirls. moves, like pick me up, like under my butt. I think it's under like a thing. Under the butt? Yeah, I think it's like a thing. Like, what the? What? Like, okay, we're not, we're not titanicking. We're not going to titanic. It's romantic. I don't know about that. <laughs> I liked it. I, I thought didn't, it I didn't looked cool. I, I caught like a glimpse and it looked cool. But please. If it did. People are going to be like, what the fuck uh, is going on? We could do it to the Titanic song. Okay, no. I don't even like that movie that much. Yeah, but we got some Sorry, more things. We got. I want to show you guys uh, actually our wedding invites. We really, really like how these turned out. They're like pressed in, yeah. the, in the material. I'll put yeah, a picture sure. up from the website, but these are ours. They're just really pretty. Yeah, we they like turn them. Out nice. They're simple and classic. We were really happy with that. Um, we did like a piece of vellum wrap over mm -hmm. the top too and a wax mm -hmm. piece. And then there's also a secondary card in there too that has like our wedding website yeah. and stuff. We used pictures from our engagement photo shoot for our save the date. Yeah. And then we did no pictures here. We just liked that no like sort of classic 
feel and look yeah so i feel like we're chugging along we're getting like the details sorted i've been trying out a bunch of shoes i feel like wedding shoes are super yeah. hard i actually asked you guys on instagram a few weeks ago for wedding shoe advice and i think like the top thing people said was not to invest in your wedding shoes because they will get ruined which was actually really good yeah. advice because I was going to. And I'm going to take that advice too. Well, one, like, I'm not going to wear patent leather shoes again, probably ever. And well, if you have to wear, like, a suit or a tux, are they always nice or not really? It's more like if you're just, I wear like, loafers a lot. I mean, patent leather, like, is, like, very specific for, like, a black tie wedding. Yeah. So, like, I'm not going to, I'm just going to get some medium grade shoes. Yeah. Yeah, people say that the wedding shoes get ruined and then satin, which is like really pretty and normal for a wedding shoe, apparently gets ruined really easily. It like catches and scratches. Also, it dyes oh, colors. <laughs> the Jimmy Choo shoes with the bow, beautiful, stunning. I love those. So many girls said they tripped on them, the bows ripped Seriously? off. Tripped yeah, on them? yeah. And they cost over a thousand dollars, I think. So um that would be more of a dupe for me for this actually even though it's like your wedding day it's so special i'm taking the advice to the heart that you shouldn't invest in them you want them to be comfy but also a lot of girls said your adrenaline is pumping so much you won't even feel it pray because i'm not too great in the heels well i want to find a wedding fragrance really bad we should actually do that soon mm -hmm. um like a scent that i've never worn that reminds me then of my wedding day be fun. you probably want one too mm -hmm. So if you guys have recommendations for that, I actually would love to hear those for his and hers uh, wedding day fragrance. I want to do like a Lay Labo one, I think, for me. That you've never had? Yeah. Yeah. If you guys have good ones, we've already done Matcha, Santal, what's the 29 one? The Noir. Noir 29 and uh, another 13. Another 13, yeah. But they, they have tons of other ones. They have tons. But yeah, I don't know what I want for mine. I... Like one that I would have worn for mine maybe is the Celine, is it Circus or okay. Parade? I think it's Parade, I think it's Parade. I love that, I think that would be a really good one but I already wear it a lot and then I also love Henry Rose Queens and Monsters. I would also have done that but I wear it a lot mm -hmm. so those are the vibes I like. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I feel like everything else is pretty. I need to look at this list actually and get back to you. Yeah. But we're getting there. Yeah. And uh, tonight I'm we're excited. gonna go walk to Thai food. So yeah. it's pretty stormy and windy out there, mm -hmm. but I think we should walk. Oh, you do? Yeah. I think we should walk. You do? I do. It's because you fought me the other day. Yeah, we'll keep you guys updated on the wedding stuff. And as we get a little bit closer. Ooh, and we're designing our, my wedding band oh, yeah. and Clayton's wedding ring. Yeah, we could probably share that with you guys coming up here. Soon. I've been like wearing this little, like sometimes I just wear rings over my engagement ring for fun. Like this little chunky one is cute. But we're designing something fun with the jeweler who also did my yeah, engagement, engagement ring. His name is David Perry. He's really cool. If you guys are in the market or if your boyfriend needs to be in the market send yeah, he's got to, good stuff. to DP. Yeah, he's great. Really uh -huh. nice. Yeah, but let's run to dinner. Let's <laughs> go get some Thai food. This is called the bong. It's a little wrap from an avocado. It's so good. You're cute. It was delish. So then he got pad CU and it evaporated. I got pick king. It was like a spicy tuna. Pick king. Spicy, spicy tuna. tuna. <laughs> spicy peanut sauce. You guys, I'm so stoked. Today we got probably my favorite PR package ever from Scrub Daddy. These are the sponges that I use to clean our dishes. And actually John, Blake's husband, turned me on to these a couple years ago. They sent the Scrub Mommies. They sent Scrub Daddy microfiber cloths, streakless cloths, erasers, like magic erasers. These are scouring pads. We got soap, cleaning cream, caddy daddy, power paste, natural household cleaner, tangerine clean, natural cleaning paste. What is this? Oh, and then this is a damp duster. They're saying that you just wet this and it kind of works as a duster. So that's pretty neat, collects all the dust. But super stoked, a little soap dispenser. So I'm gonna put some of these items to the test. 
tonight after dinner. So I've never seen these actually, but these are for glass windows and more. They're streakless, so when you clean the windows, there'll be nothing left over. Good for like bathroom glass, windows, stuff like that. The Scour Daddy is like a heavy duty sponge. So probably get on like some pots and pans and stuff. But they're saying like you could use a lot of these like, you know, to clean the bathrooms, household stuff, floors, walls, if you gotta really scrub it out. Potatoes going in the boiling water, right? All right, this is actually a super innovative soap dispenser. So you can squeeze the bottom, traditional little deal, right? And this is actually, this is a really old sponge daddy. No dye in this one, just like color free. But if you wanna just like get some on your sponge, you go like that. And then it's like, you can just like put it here and then be like, yep, just need a little bit. Scrub it up, dub. Wow, really neat, I like it. These are the sponge daddies I have been rocking. They're just dye free, traditional kind of sponges. Super good, this one is definitely needs to go away. But I'm gonna do try out the Scrubby Mommy Scrub, Scrubby Mommy, Scrub Mommy? Scrub Mommy, tonight. Making a little salmon dinner for tonight. These are actually pre-marinated teriyaki salmon from Whole Foods. Gonna give that a try. Hopefully they taste pretty good. They smell, smell good. All right, these cook up very nicely in the pan. Grilled a little green onion in there too. Added some peas for the mashed potatoes. Looks fire.